Control causes abortions. That's what this pamphlet's about. Well, there, there you go. Three thousand children are murdered every day in our nation. Three thousand. You are only thinking of yourself if you think we're here just to talk to you about your abortion. We're talking to you about the Holocaust that's going on in our nation. We've killed 56 million. Hitler killed 11 million and we study him in history and we think he's horrible. We've killed 56 million. What does that make us as a society? We are far worse than Hitler. We are far, far worse than Hitler. We've murdered far more people than Hitler ever could. What do you guys think about living in a culture that murders 3,000 children a day right there? Hey, is he recording with all this? Yes. Why is that? Because we have the right to and we choose to. So why are you handing out abortion to the children? Exactly. We're handing out to high school students. Yeah, but some people's uh, parents and religions wouldn't accept that. Well, in the state of California at the age of 12, they've given up the right to have a point. Have a point. Does that make sense? How is, how, is, how is abortion the Holocaust, though? Holocaust? Yeah. Well, we call the Holocaust the Holocaust because Hitler killed 11 million Jews. That was Jews. genocide, though. That's was, not huh? going towards one race. These are unborn children. Right, these are the pre-born, so they don't even care what race it is. You, they'll kill gay babies, they'll kill they're straight babies, they'll kill black. They're, it's pro it's they're murdering children. It's They're murdering children. the idea is yeah. that you kill a child before he's born, so the child himself the didn't fuck? have... Uh, you know, the but how many that. orphans are there and foster children who get abused and many other people? All those things are wrong, but it's also wrong to murder children. How is it murder? Because it's murder. It's murder is the taking of someone's thing. life. What if a female got raped and she had to, like, didn't want the baby? What was she going to do? What? Do you think rape is wrong? Yes, I was molested by four members. All right. So how do you think okay, was, was that wrong okay, to you? What if I would have had a kid and I don't right. have the was the rape wrong? Yes, that okay. is Okay, it was wrong because a larger person took advantage of you, right? But what if the person... Now listen, <laughs> when an abortion <laughs> happens, when an abortion happens, a larger person is taking advantage of a smaller person. You know what? These it's are They're, other they're wrong children. for the same reason. These are other people's children. Let them form their own opinion and don't force your opinion on someone else. Are you forcing your wrong. opinion on me? I am saying this is you're, not You're forcing your opinion, opinion on me. You're entitled we're to your opinion. Right. So what I'm pointing out is she's pointing out, she's trying to tell me to stop doing something she's doing. Home. So she doesn't really believe her own statement so or she wouldn't be telling so me something. So when I asked for like earlier, a 14 year old high school child. What? Do you think it's okay for like a freshman to get pregnant and give birth and be a parent even though they're not fit to be a parent? But that's murder even though they're trying It's murder if they kill the child, right? It's not a child though, it's a group of cells. It is a group. What, what kind of group of cells is it? Uh, yeah, oh, what kind though? Are they? Is it cat cells oh, hey, hey, or cells. it's human cells? Okay, what is the what? What's the definition of being? Being is no being. 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 Being means to exist. Human beings mean I'm human and I exist. I'm a human being. A clump of cells is human and it exists so means it's a human so it being. Yeah, it's very simple to know that. Huh? So it processes emotions and breathing and all that even though it's a fetus inside of someone's stomach. It's a human being just like all of us are in a different stage of development. So I have a question. There's no brain activity. You're basically killing something that could grow up to be a human being. You know, a regular person like it, me. It is a human being in fact. The, 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 yes. the pro-choice argument is that you're like... Kill, right, you're killing right. something that is a human being. That's the truth. When it is a choice argument. It is not that cardboard that you're using is made from a dead tree. So, 
You're oh my God! Trees. Do you think <laughs> trees? Do you think trees and humans are of the same value? Well, how do humans oh, yeah. have a higher you value do? than okay. other things that were here before them? Trees are living things too. Oh, right, trees are living things. Right. See, there's a created order. So God made heaven and earth, plant, and God said, "Thou shalt not murder." So huh? your abortion. Problem, yeah. You're against abortion because of your religion. I'm against abortion because it's wrong. Objectively, against any objective standard. Uh, Abortion is wrong. And it's the murder of hundreds of people. And you're a female that produces children and understand what it's like to go through it. Do you think that I have to be a female to hold a position on abortion? I think you have to be from that point of view to understand why some people okay. want abortion. Do you think? Don't. Do you think slavery is wrong? Obviously. Have you ever owned a slave? Yeah, I definitely owned a slave. Well, see, what you're, what I'm showing you is that you actually have never owned a slave, yet you have an opinion that slavery is wrong. Because so it defeats your I, argument. It's your, a your, race, your argument, ex exactly. Oh, yeah, but your so argument was that since I can't get pregnant, to, uh, I can't say abortion's wrong. We should get and so, by your own also. admission, your I'm own argument was wrong. See what I'm saying? I, I can, as a man, understand that abortion is wrong, and I can't say that it's wrong, and I can be intelligent about that without being a woman. I don't understand how you can... Just like you could tell slavery is wrong without being a slave owner. I don't owner. understand how you can compare uh, the genesis, uh, Holocaust and slavery to giving an abort getting an abortion. Those are complete opposite it's, it's things. It's abusing human beings, right? So there's the Holocaust, there's the abortion Holocaust, right? How do we know the those Holocaust people? Holocaust is the genocide of one person, not a group of cells inside of someone's The Holocaust stomach. is the name we give to what Hitler did in, in Nazi Germany. That's yeah, what it that is. And he George murdered 11 million. We've murdered 56 million so far. And how many starving homeless children are on the streets with no home because their parents could not be a good parent? What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Um, as in, if they're preventing from having children that they can't take care of, they right? end the pregnancy. Are you saying that someone that has a poor quality of life should be murdered? They're not murdered because they don't have feelings. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this: if someone has a poor quality of life, is that a reason to murder them? No, I'm not no, suggesting no, him, that. Her, I'm asking her. you if that's a good idea. Not you, I know. Okay. Well, see, the, what I'm trying to sh show you is that a human being, like you, let, let's put it this way: you think all women should have a right to do with their body what they want, correct? Okay. What about that woman? You see, that woman has a right to do with her body what she wants How's as well. That woman actually a fetus? It is a woman at conception. We know that sex and gender are determined at conception. That's scientific fact. Okay, if birth control medication is abortion, yes, and it's murder, yes. then are periods murder? Is masturbation murder? Is that's, it? That's Scientifically, is it? Is it? Is it? I'm asking you. Is it? He's arguing that life begins at conception. Right. Okay. So, so uh, then masturbation or ejaculation is not a human is being. Birth control taken before sex, so wouldn't that just be a contraceptive? Did you read the brochure? Because Wait, inside what it does, you, it, it, it describes why the question. baby dies. I have a question. If you could go back, would you abort baby Hitler? Okay, Jackson, shut up. <laughs> Murder is wrong. Oh my God. Murder Pro is wrong. Hitler. Shut this up. man is pro Hitler. This is this is the pro-choice side, though. That's how ridiculous the arguments are for those that support the murder of innocent children. I'm personally they take guessing. something like that and then they say something ridiculous, and so many people are believing it. I'll tell you what: there is not one argument, not one sound argument, for the pro-abortion side. Not one. And I challenge you to find an argument that makes any sense in any level. I'm not that against abortion, it's the birth control that I have a problem with. Well, understand this. Birth control, uh, like condoms or something, obviously doesn't cause abortions. What causes abortion is this type. So all birth controls do three things. They work in three different ways. They prevent ovulation, they prevent fertilization, and they prevent implantation. Now, it, inform, uh, preventing implantation is abortion because it's preventing the implantation of an already conceived human being. Now that happens normally, right? That's called the miscarriage. But when you poison, when you take birth control to poison the lining of your uterus so that that will happen, then you've had an abortion. Does that make sense? But the, would you consider just like contraceptives to be abortion? Like, like having sex while on contraceptives, would that be an abortion? You, using like a diaphragm or a condom. No, those are not abortions. Abortion is, right, what, is the, what is the successful result of an abortion? A loss of a baby. A dead child. 
A botched abortion is when a child doesn't die during the procedure, okay? So understand that abortion is not, uh, we were talking uh, honestly about like, well, is a period abortion or is uh, a guy ejaculating an abortion? Obviously not. Those things are not human beings that are being killed. But when that happens after sex and there is a human being formed, if you intentionally kill that human being by, in this case, taking birth control pill and knowing that it happens. Many don't know it happened. In fact, my wife and I took it for a long time and we didn't know that that happened. But we found out about it and we want to tell people about it. That's what it says here. The, the person who gave this to you didn't know all of this either, right? So we learned it. And actually, I learned it while I was standing in front of Planned Parenthood telling people to stop killing their children, right? Yep. That would make me a hypocrite, right? Yeah. Yeah, because that's what I was, you know, I had done that and supported that. and then But I found out and I turned from that. That's called repentance. So. Well, I've never personally had one. Oh, sure. I, yeah, yeah, I'm against it personally. I think if you have a kid, uh, keep can it. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely, like, Personally, yeah. I noticed that you uh, quoted John 3, uh, 16 through 21. Yes. Uh, so you're Christian, right? Like, I, I, know, I know we're yeah. keeping it secular to like, uh, keep everyone together. I'm not trying to keep here's, it secular. Uh, here's uh, here's a, uh, question yeah, a question from a fellow Christian. Do you personally believe that uh, aborted children have souls, right? Uh, I believe at conception we know what we know is we at conception we have a human being. Uh, and, and I would say yeah, there's a soul. I don't know. I mean that's not my that's not my. I mean I would say there's a human being there. So he's full and complete. He's just growing. So I guess a soul would be assumed. Would that if it did have a soul, do you think it would uh, enter the kingdom or not? Um, I think I think the Bible doesn't say, and I think it doesn't say for a reason. If the Bible said that all babies that die go to heaven, right? It does. Then we would say, well, why not kill the babies? Who cares, right? right? But, can't but, God, but so it's still the original sin, isn't it? Mm, well, I would. I'll talk about that, but let me finish this point. So, but if all babies went to hell, the Bible said that. Who could live, right? We killed 56 million. Right, so, so judgment. The sin, it? Hold on one second. Judgment. Yeah, they're good questions. I don't want to get to them, but judgment is to God, right? I don't know that all babies go to heaven or all babies go to hell, but I know that murdering children is wrong, and I know that Jesus says, do unto others as you would have done it to yourself. If I was going to be murdered, I would want people standing on the street corner looking like maniacs trying to stop other people from killing them. So, so if that makes any sense, I'm doing what I would want done for me. He had a question real quick. But the original sin isn't clear until you have a baptism, right? Bro, well, choice, bro, would say choice, like, Andrew, bro, shut up. Think of, the thief, talk, think of the thief on the cross. He yeah. didn't have baptism that we know of, right. right? And he was on the cross, and Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. So that's God's judgment. Um, and so I, I leave all judgment up to God. I don't believe that a, I don't believe there's an act that we do that saves us. Like baptism doesn't, the act of it doesn't save us in, in the sense that if I don't get it done, I'm going to hell because I didn't get it done. I believe we should do it out of obedience and our heart should be desired to be baptized. But the act itself, I don't believe is like, a super, like a, a, in a superstitious way, oh, if you don't do that, you're going to hell. Now, if we well, in our hearts has, refuse, like, it gives you a clean slate. Is what I meant. I, I, uh, like I would I say were, that. Like, I have been baptized, and if I were to go get baptized today, would I be cleared of all my sins? When you believe, you're cleared yeah. of all your sins. When you believe in Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. You're cleared of all your sins. You, you're repentant, right? If you you repent. And you believe that I believe you're saved then. And I believe that the believer wants to get baptized. Baptism is going under the judgment of God and coming up. In, in You're dying with Christ. And you're being raised again in his life. And when you get baptized, you don't you don't have your life. He does, God wants to give you his life and live it through you. Jesus wants to live his life through you. You know what I mean? So I, I was like, I tell people like, Jesus doesn't want you to have your own life back. He wants to give you his life. That's why he died. And so when we go in baptism, we're, we're being buried with Christ, uh, and we're raised again I think to newness uh, of James, life. James, or the, what's it called? The letter in, John. G, or, no, John. James, um, or where he says, I don't remember it, but it, I don't remember what chapter, but it was something like, uh, for what good is uh, faith without works or something? Uh -huh. was it? Do you yeah. remember that one? Faith without works is So he dead? just gives, yeah. yeah, so it gives a, a good example of what true faith looks like, right? Now, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, if you just have the uh, option right, uh, right in front of you to get baptized, like, why wouldn't you? What I, what I tell people is, here, how do we know we believe? I can say I believe, but how do you know you believe? What I, what I try to show my children is, like, 
uh, think of a, a chair. What you do is you walk up to the chair, you sit in it, right? You don't even think about it, but I know when you sit in that chair, you believe in that chair. So belief leads to action, right? So if you believe in God, you're going to act as though he's real. He's there, his law means something, his word means something, and you're going to obey him, right? If you don't believe, you're going to be constantly nodding one, not wanting to obey him. You're like the person sitting next to the chair say, oh, I think that chair can hold me, but you won't sit in it, right? Yeah. That person may not believe. Uh, so, so same can thing. you prove God's real? That's, that's okay, now, no, no, that's just such a huge Absolutely, question, there, there is an argument that's very simple to, to prove that God, God is real, yeah. right? If you walked up to a, a, a picture on a wall, yeah. right, you would not ask the question, is there a painter? You might ask who the painter is, but you wouldn't ask, is there a painter? Because it's self-evident that that painting had a painter, right? Okay, in the same way, we are here... <laughs> And it is self-evident that we're here, that we were put here, we were made, right? And it's self-evident. All this organization, all the design, everything in us makes it a self-evident, undisputable fact that there's a God, yeah. right? There's no other explanation. That, that argument, I think, is called reductio ad absurdum, which means to reduce, if you reduce it any further than this point, it's absurd. So you have the choice in life, either God or you have absurdity. And that's what you see in our world today. You see absurdity. People saying, well, I feel like a woman, so therefore I'm a woman. What? You're, that's absurdity, right? No, it's a mental disorder. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you Why? Think, uh, because it's absurd. Hey, what do you think yeah. of that uh, of that new uh, like uh, that movement of like um, I don't know what what they are, but they're there's like a lot of like um, what are they called? There's all uh, liberal like Christians like coming into like the churches and stuff. Like I don't I, I may be wrong, but a lot of Methodists and Lutherans are becoming uh, pro -cho uh, pro choice now. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people that are giving up God's standard for man's standard right now. Do you know God's standard? It's his, it's his word, right? And his word from beginning to end. A lot of people will read, you know, one book or a few books in the New Testament. They don't read his whole word. We need to read the whole counsel of God. As young men, uh, I can advise you that the Proverbs are made to, are, are there, and it says right there, these are to make men wise, to help you understand wise sayings. There are 31 Proverbs, and there are 31 days in a month. I take that and I read one proverb every day, whatever day it is. It's the 16th today, read the yeah. 16th proverb. And it helps you become wise by reading the word. And then when you're reading the rest of the word, it helps you understand. And so if you, if you guys are seeking the Lord, I, one thing that's blessed me in my life is uh, reading the proverbs consistently. We still read them. We read the Psalms also. Oh, the Psalms. Yeah. I yeah. Know. They're like miniature prayers. I like those ones. Yep. I noticed that you uh, made a quote by uh, the, the Reverend uh, Martha Luther King Jr., yeah. uh, which he, he's a Baptist minister. Do you think that all uh, churches and Christianity are the same, say Eastern Orthodoxy and Roman Catholicism as I, something else? I don't see everybody as the same. I, I think that in the same way, my view is that, that Jesus said, how will we know who the false prophets are? And it says, you'll know them by their fruit. That's what it's, he tells us. And the fruit is the things that we do, what we're producing, right? A tree has bad fruit. It's like, this is a bad tree. A tree has good fruit. Yeah. So I, I look at the teachings and the actions and that, and I say, is this fruit good or is it bad? Um, and so, and that's how I would judge it according to God's word. Are they holding God's word? Are they adding to it? Are they subtracting from it? Are they focusing on one verse? Or are they letting the Bible be the Bible? And so... Uh, With that logic, like, no church is safe from corruption. Yeah. Well, Can I ask you a question? We're not supposed to... Yeah, we're not supposed to, like, trust people. We're people, right? No, right. Yeah. Everybody has this nature that's not... We're not perfect. And so we're supposed to trust God's Word. And when we have that as our foundation, that's when we're unshakable. So that's, that's the man who built his house on the rock. He built his house on the Word of God. Your question, sir? Uh, my question is, like... I get it, you're trying to like uh, prove what you believe in right here, but do you really think that this is the best area to do it? Because as you can see, like the police have to show up, because I know you probably, you guys are probably getting a lot of shit today from like a lot of different students. I get mm -hmm. that, because like, teenagers, they're bad people. We all know this. They're, yeah, they're gonna say, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna, 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 they're they're gonna, they're gonna, they're they're gonna, 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 they're gon
like that well, you won't show teenagers? That you won't? Or also? No, the like, reason is, is because there is a need here. And the fact I know there's a need is just how we're treated as, as we go in and out, right? The, the students here hate us. For what reason? Have I been mean to you guys? Have I called no. you names? I just because it's funny. It, People are going to make funny. fun of you just it's because funny. it is funny. Right. But it, I'm also dealing with a very sensitive Take subject. care of my football, Garrett. A lot of people... It's my football. A lot of people have... This has affected. There's 56 million children that have been murdered through abortion. That means there's 112 million parents that have killed their children. We're surrounded by people that this has affected. If you add in birth control, it's way more than that. Okay, so this is a thing that's it's a sin that's very, very close to everybody you, you're around, everyone you're talking to. It's secret. There's molestation going on. There's all kinds of disgusting things going on with this. And basically, in our high schools, we've let children go. We've said, okay, you're in high school now. You, you're going to make this decision for yourself. We're going to let you go. And there's nobody teaching truth. There's nobody saying, this is what's right, this is what's wrong. A uh, question for you guys. In your biology class, do they teach you that life begins at conception? No, I don't know. I don't have biology. I have science. biology. They yeah, don't teach I'm, you? I'm a second year. Will yeah, you they... ask your teacher that question pointedly and just say, does we, life we begin at conception? No, no, no. No the... joke at all. We actually talked about something where, like, um, like um, I don't know, some, some stupid thing where, like, um, like, um, like this guy would like uh, get a limb taken off or something like that, and like uh, they'd replace it with like machinery and stuff, and they'd ask at one point was he dead, and then a lot of people argued that he was still alive even when he was completely a robot, and uh, um, but I argued that he was uh, he was dead when they took out this, uh, the last brain cell. Hmm. It's, it's kind of like that. That's an interesting uh, question. <laughs> Also, they do abortion at third trimester, and by the third trimester, the baby can't really feel pain. Well, that's so why it's basically killing it and hurting. It. I've never been against it up until about eight weeks, and that's when they have a brain and a heart, and they're alive. So that child right there is that's alive. That seven, and that's when most abortion happens. But a human starts at conception, first cells, right? And so that that it's just like you guys are not fully developed at this point. You're going to get smarter, you're going to get bigger, you're going to get stronger, you're, whatever's going to happen to you, you're still developing. And so to look at a human that's only a few cells and say they're nothing and squash their life it would be the same if someone came to you that was older and bigger and stronger and smarter and squashed you guys. You'd be like, that's not fair, that's not right. So at, at the point of conception, when life begins, it, that's, that's when we need to protect children. So. I understand pregnancy correctly. Um, the way we count, uh, the way we say the baby's four weeks old, um, that's counting back into a woman's cycle to the prior month. So a woman, the pregnancy actually starts at, four, I think, four to five weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't know you're pregnant until, until it's, it's four, like that four, big, four weeks, right? And so by that point, the baby is so rapidly developing. There's so much happening. Um, and, and I honestly have never known I was pregnant until six, seven weeks. The baby's already there. Yeah, because of the like, um, so, <laughs> so the, uh, you know, the one of the things that, you have more to say? I'm just trying to say, think about the weeks, I guess. When you, when you talk, when you put the baby by weeks, then the baby's really starting at five to six. Yeah. Not, not one to four. That's when they know they're pregnant. Five to six. Mm. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's easier to notice. I think that's what she's saying. Yeah. So Was that like the, the woman just so doesn't know? I like. Yeah. I can't even figure out like you when really the baby's gonna be born. Female anatomy. <laughs> no, really no. Not. Because I mean, periods happen every month. Right? Yeah. You miss a period, so, you know. So <laughs> the period happens in February. Um, but then they get pregnant in March. Well, that's weeks one to four. In a, in a baby's, it's even though it's part of the cycle because there's ovulation happening in the woman. So one week, one to four, when you actually count to when the baby is born, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So you go back and when they when they say when did you get pregnant, they say when was your last cycle, and that's when they so it's, they're actually five to six weeks at a time. That you think about it. Yeah. So, so, so the uh, the thing a lot of 
high school students don't think they can't do anything about it. They can't vote yet. They can't do anything. But that's not true. You guys have the most power no, anyone's no, ever had with social King. media, yeah. Never with spreading that. the news, yeah, with spreading the word in your high school. I, I mean, we can come out here and stand here, and they're gonna see it here. But starting groups in your high school and and no. going online, no, and creating, you know, someone created all this stuff, this is, created those uh, types of things, th is, is absolutely something you can do, and you can spread the word and help end abortion. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, I should probably get going. Yeah, definitely. Good to see you. And here's a, uh, if you want, abolishhumanabortion.com if you want to find out more. Do you guys want a card? No, yeah. no. Thank you. I have a up. question real quick, though. Like, yeah. at that age, like, when you, what she was saying, like, when you start noticing you're pregnant, does that baby, like, it doesn't actually think it's not, like, a living, like, does it have a brain developed? Well, we can Would measure brain activity. We yeah. can measure, yeah, that's that's, that's a good point. But if you stay in a coma. Yeah. That's a good question, but the thing is that, like, those are subjective. Uh, well, we can measure at a certain point of time brain activity, right? Yeah. So we can do that. Now, so we say that's when brain activity starts, right? But we don't know that, right? It ha would have to. You want one? No, it would have to be a subjective opinion of when that starts. And, and as humans, we don't want to be under subjective opinion. We want to be under objective truth, right? Yeah. So. If we say, yeah, you too. If we say that uh, this child is uh, can't feel something or can't think, right? Th those are our subjective opinions about someone else. Just like I could look at you and say, or I guess this is what happened is they used to look at black people and say, well, he can't feel pain like us. We can beat him. Yeah, and that's a, a, th right. That's a that's a that's called a subjective reasoning. It would be the same reasoning. We said it's okay to kill children that can't think. Same type of reasoning because we're not that person. And each person is created in God's image and is free and equal. Are they even considered a human at that point? That looks like a blob of cells that looks shaped like an animal. Kind what of kind of blob of cells is it? Human cells, but it's human. Not so, like it looks like and what does the word being mean? Do you know what the word being uh, means? Living? It means exist. Yeah. Existing. It means to exist, right? Mm -hmm. So, a human, if, it, if you say it's a blob of cells, what you're saying is it's a human blob of cells that exists. But don't they refer to those as fetus? You're no. saying. You're that saying it's a human being. Sure. Certainly, that, that one might even be like a blastocyst or a, a zygote. That's not a zygote. Zygote's right when it comes. Yeah. That one might be a blastocyst. Uh, but those are all scientific terms. Just like yeah. if someone called you a teenager, it doesn't mean you're less human. Yeah. So if they call that a fetus, it doesn't mean they're less human. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. I gotta go. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks for talking, guys. God bless you. Thank you for all right. Thank you, guys. Bye. We'll see you around. Bye.